Oh my gosh, it is pouring right now. And it's been a couple years since I did a video about fixing a muddy chicken run. I've learned some things since I shot that last video and um, I wanna share it with you. Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. I'm gonna put you down, okay? Don't get wet, don't get wet out there. It is frozen degrees in Chickenlandia. <laughs> It's actually not freezing, but it's just like, it's raining so much. It's probably, there's probably gonna be some flooding. It is cold. And I just struggle with that change of temperature this time of year because I really love the summer. And I don't know why I don't live somewhere. There's not palm trees. I'm like a pet iguana living in Alaska. <laughs> me <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is i am going to accept that this is how the weather is here in the pacific northwest and i'm going to do my best um, to make the situation a little better and i'm going to show you how you can do it too so actually i don't have a lot of mud where i live now um, and my old property i had a bad problem with drainage in my chicken yard and it was wet and muddy and so it was a real struggle so i'm super grateful that now my chickens are in an area that has really good drainage i mean there's water there's some some water in the chicken yard but it's so minimal compared to what i used to deal with um i know that a lot of you are not that lucky this duck <laughs> okay i know there's water you like it my main thing is I don't want to slip and fall in the chicken yard, first of all, because, you know, I don't want to get my clothes all muddy and gross. And I also, I, you know, I'm no spring chicken, okay, <laughs> anymore. I don't want to fall because I could have like pain if I fall, you know, for a few days. Anyway, I'm really fortunate. I know a lot of you guys out there are struggling with mud right now in a big way. And hopefully this video can really help you. You know, chickens that are living in wet and muddy conditions, they can be vulnerable to a lot of problems. There are parasites that really thrive in wet, muddy conditions, you know, and also chickens could get stressed out. Like if they're just, if they're not in great conditions, if they are cold and wet and muddy, they can get stressed out and stress is going to make them more vulnerable to disease. It's best if you can do everything you can very quickly to get them out of a situation where they're not in the best conditions. The other thing that can become a major problem for you is if there is standing, you know, water and mud and there's poop in there too and it can start to really stink and that can annoy your neighbors. We don't want that. We want to be considerate of our neighbors and also like it's nobody likes that. I, I don't want to come out here and smell stinky chickens <laughs> like I don't want my chickens to smell. As always, prevention is the best route to take. Pick an area to place your coop and run where the drainage is really good. Chickens create erosion over time. If you do find that there is a problem, a long-term solution might be like digging some trenches, trying to redirect that water out of the chicken yard. You know, the worst case scenario is that you would need to regrade the chicken yard so that it has better drainage. A super quick and usually very cheap solution would be to just lay some two by fours or some two by twos down to give your chickens a place to stand out of the mud. Cinder blocks are another thing that can be really helpful that you can place and maybe you can put some two by fours on top of them. But all of this is just to bring your chickens up, give them a place to stand where they're not standing in mud. And if they have the choice, they will not stand in mud. A lot of people will use wooden pallets in their really muddy areas and you can find those sometimes for free. Like if you go to uh, some of your local businesses and ask, hey, do you guys have any wooden pallets that you're just gonna get rid of? They may give you some. Of course, you wanna make sure that the pallets don't have any harmful chemicals or anything on them that could harm your chickens. And you can just lay them down in your chickens will really appreciate that and they will stand on them to get themselves out of the mud. The one thing that I have found that is really good at fixing both the smell and the mud 
are pine pellets. And what I usually use are the pellets that are for horses or you can use them in a chicken coop. People use them as cat litter. You can actually use 100% uh, pine cat litter, but it's more expensive um, than just like the horse pellets. But they both serve the same type of purpose. They're very absorbent and they will soak up that moisture and also help to eliminate those odors because they're meant to like absorb urine. Like that's what they're meant and, and absorb like ammonia and, and harmful yucky or odors that nobody wants to smell. <laughs> I'm so glad the ducks are happy on this beautiful duck weather day but I wish they would be quiet <laughs> I, really, I really do a lot of people have asked me can I use uh, wood stove pellets that are hundred percent pine number one they're not made for animals and I just feel more comfortable using a product that is made specifically for use with a living being and the other thing is I, I'm not sure that they're gonna be quite as absorbent because I don't know if they're like as compact as the pine pellets for horses or cats would be. So it's it's really up to you. I never want to tell somebody, oh no, you know, don't do that unless it's something I really feel is dangerous. For me, I feel more comfortable using a product that was made for animals. So that's what I recommend. All right, let's go outside into this, uh, you know, bowl of water <laughs> and uh, put some horse pellets down. So a few people have asked me like, are my chickens gonna eat these? They will peck around in it and they will be curious because it looks like food, but chickens that are well fed and well taken care of will not attempt to eat these. If your chickens try to eat them, you need to reevaluate your, um, your practices and this is not judgmental at all. It can happen that you're not feeding your chickens enough and you don't realize it, especially if they're in an, an enclosed run. They may try and eat these, but it is a it is very rare for that to happen, and it is a signal of a much bigger problem. This is a much bigger space than what I had at in my other chicken yard. My other chicken yard, it was way less space and it was way more muddy. But even so, I am probably not gonna use a whole, I don't know how many pounds this is, it's probably a 40 pound bag of pine pellets here because they expand a lot. They're very absorbent and they expand a lot. So one of the biggest mistakes that I made in the first videos that I did about fixing your muddy chicken run is I just used way too many pine pellets. And it's that's not gonna be harmful or anything, but it's wasteful. So if you wanna make your money last longer, if you don't wanna be wasteful, start out very sparingly. You can always add more and you can get more life out of them once they expand by raking them and kind of moving them around and that will make them last longer. And that, that's that's the goal. We don't wanna be wasteful in, in Chickenlandia. We don't wanna teach that either. I know that it really looks like I'm barely putting any here and there's so much water, but I'm telling you, they are going to expand. They're gonna absorb so much moisture. All right, well, I did not use the whole bag. I used about two thirds of the bag, but the majority of the pellets I put here, right here in the front. It's really just so I don't trip and fall and slip. I didn't get rid of all the standing water because I have ducks and they like to mess around in the standing water. So I left a little bit. It is already doing the job it's supposed to do and it smells great out here. So, you know, it's 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 only November, okay? <laughs> it is supposed to snow in a few days and I am so not ready. There are many things I need to do to get ready. But you might be wondering, well, hey, I want to know the things that you do to get ready. I have a whole playlist about what you need to do to prepare your chickens for the winter and how to take care of them through the winter. I'm going to leave that right here for you. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens education and entertainment and I know you're going to love it. <laughs>